everybody. <laughs> um, Jessica here, um, getting room ready to lead you guys through HC2. Um, I should have the Spotify playlist um, link below if you want to click on it and um, listen along. Um, if you are following me, it's the AC2 Moves playlist. Um, and I will let you know when I play it um, here so we can kind of be in sync together. Um, I'm playing it real low in the background though because, you know, YouTube has the copyright thing. Um, one of the postures that we're going to be doing today is um, Dancing Shiva, which I know some of you guys have done this in class with me before. But just so you're not lost if you've never done it, it looks like this. It's kind of like Ekapada Tadasana. Your right knee comes up. You cock it out to the side, flex through your heel, and bend into your left knee, and then bring your hands down like this. So your front hand is on, or your right hand is on top, and your left hand is on the bottom. And these are just um, representative, the top hand is representative of safety and reassurance, and the bottom hand is representative of refuge for the troubled soul. So while dancing, Shiva is in this, um, kind of frenzied dance of um, everything being creative and everything being destroyed, he's still kind of like, I got you. And um, I don't know about you, but that sentiment really resonates with me right now <laughs> with everything that's going on. So uh, that's where we're going to begin. Just come to a comfortable seat on your mat, <sighs> whatever that means for you. If you prefer, if you have a block or a bolster or a blanket that you'd like to sit on, that's fine. Sit up nice and tall, and you can either have your hands palms up, maybe palms down on your knees, or if you want to bring your hands to Anjali Mudra at heart center, or even bring one hand palm over your heart, the other hand on top. So just take a moment to start to ground down. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, soften your face. You can close your eyes. And give yourself a moment to land here. Start to use your senses and um, notice the air upon your skin, how it feels. Notice the ground beneath you, how supported you feel. Notice what sounds you might hear and what thoughts are floating through. Now take a deep breath in all the way down to your belly. Fill up, up, up. Open your mouth side out. Do that again. Deep breath in. Fill everything up. Open your mouth, let it go. Now inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Engage your ujjayi breath. Make it audible. Constrict the back of your throat. Take several rounds here and start to bring to mind something that, something or someone that makes you feel reassured, makes you feel safe. It could be your variation of the divine, your belief in the universe. It might be a friend, a partner, a lover, or maybe a four-legged furry friend. Whoever or whatever it is, start to bring that into your heart now. Notice the feeling of comfort that it gives you. rounds of breath. With every exhale, let anything go that you're holding on to, any lingering thoughts, lingering expectations of class, just let yourself be. begin music if you would like to start it as well 
And then we're just going to move into some seated cat cows. So bring your hands, palms down on your knees. Take a big breath in, start to rock forward, shift your chest forward, tilt your gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, start to rock back, drag your chin to your chest. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, move back. Just start to move with your breath, setting your own pace. Finding your own rhythm. Good. Take another round forward. This time start to rock off to the side, making Sufi circles or Kundalini circles, whichever you prefer. And you're just moving with your breath, rocking forward and back. There's no wrong way to do this, y'all. Just move with your breath. free to start to bring in anything else that calls out. I always encourage you guys to explore around within your practice. See what feels good. So much part of this practice is attuning to your body, seeing what it's asking for, getting familiar with your body. On your next inhale, come back to tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips up and back. Take a few breaths here. Start to pedal out your feet. You can bend one knee at a time or both knees at the same time. You can lift a leg, open a hip. Just work out your first down dog of your practice however feels good. Spread your fingers wide on the mat. Press into your fingertips, your knuckles, your thumb pads. Line your biceps up with your ears as you press your chest towards your thighs. Start to find some stillness. Root down through the balls of your feet. Send your heels to the earth. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, ragdoll. Take your feet about hip distance apart. You can bend your knees a lot, grab opposite elbows, or let your arms hang loose, or make a basket at the nape of your neck. Just sway a little from side to side. Give your head a gentle nod, yes and no, relax your neck. Inhale, release 
your hands, heel toe, your feet back together. Slowly roll up to stand. Once you're at the top, bring your hands to heart center, Samas Vitihi. Root down through the four corners of your feet. Engage your quads. Lift them up off your kneecaps. Float your toes up so you can feel the four corners of your feet. You can keep your toes up or release them back down to the earth. Pull your belly up and in. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep inhale. Big exhale. One more breath in. And out. Inhale to Dasana. Reach your arms up. Turn your pinky fingers in so that you, um, you externally rotate your arms. Again, knit your ribs in towards each other. Super strong core. Take one more breath in. Exhale, baby back bend. Cactus your arms as you send your pelvis forward. Lift up through your heart. Lightly squeeze your glutes. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through your spine. Make a flat back like an upside down number seven. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Take one more breath in. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands. Step back. Step your shoulders over your wrists. Pull your belly up tight against your spine. Inflate the space between your shoulder blades and firm your legs. Inhale, shift forward slightly. Exhale, chaturanga or drop to your knees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's move it a little bit, y'all. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Move yourself through Chaturanga or just hold plank. You can always skip the whole thing. Shift right back to down dog. Listen to your body. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Step back, lower down, squeeze your elbows into your ribs if you chaturanga. Lift your legs off the ground for up dog, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in, sigh it out. One more inhale, and exhale. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot to the top. Inhale, straight leg crescent. So as you rise up, straighten both of your legs. Firm up through your left quad, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly up and in, relax your shoulders. One more breath in. Exhale, bend it to your knee, cactus your arms. Squeeze your glutes here, y'all. You lift up through your heart, spread your fingers wide. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up one more time. Exhale, down. I lied. Inhale, up last time. Exhale, warrior two. Turn your back foot so it's parallel to the blade edge of the mat. Stack your knee over your ankle. Reach out through your fingertips. Press into the blade edge of your back foot. Breathe in. And exhale. Inhale, reverse, lift up and back. Sink into your front knee, lengthen through your side body. Exhale, extended side angle, bring your form to the inside of your right thigh or stack your elbow on top of your thigh. Your, arm, your left arm can be straight up or bring it over your ear. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, rotate your torso up towards the ceiling. One more breath in. Hang for the exhale. Inhale, reverse, lift up and back. Exhale, rainbow warrior, sink into your back knee, flex through your front foot, front hand to heart. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, horse, sink down. Sink way down, give me little pulses. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior. 
warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Take your left leg high. Draw your forehead towards your right shin. Flex out through your left heel. Now curl your left hip down to meet your right. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, rise up. Now float your toes up to toss the weight to the backs of your feet. Gently knit your tailbone down. You can keep your arms where they are, maybe cactus arms, or maybe hands to a prayer. Wherever is easiest to help relax your shoulders. Knit your ribs in, take another breath in. Exhale, sink a little lower, relax your face. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Plant your hands, step back, do what you need to do to get back to down dog. Listen to your breath, y'all. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg crescent, rise all the way up. So straighten both legs firm through your right glute and your left thigh. Take another inhale. Exhale, sink it down, cactus your arms, lift up through your heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Find your footing. Root into the blade edge of your back foot. As you reach through your fingertips, broaden through your chest, but relax your shoulders. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, reverse, lift up and back. Reach through your fingertip, light with your hand on the back of your leg. Try not to use it to brace yourself. Exhale, extended side angle. Bring your left forearm down, right arm goes up. Maybe take your arm over your ear. Rotate your rib cage up towards the ceiling. Firm through your back leg. Inhale, reverse. Lift up and back. Exhale, rainbow. Sink into your back knee. Front hand to heart. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse sink down. Lift your front heel up and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, lift your back heel, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels up, you got it. Here we are, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, star, exhale, warrior two at the top. Inhale, reverse, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Take your right leg high. Draw your forehead towards your left shin as you press out through your right heel. Curl your right hip down this time. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Bend your knees, rise up. Again, take whatever arm variation calls out to you. Sink your hips down. Relax your jaw. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sink a little lower. You got this. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow. High to low. You know what to do. All right, take a big breath in, y'all. And out. All right, let's do this. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg crescent all the way up. Exhale, cactus down one time. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, one breath down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow, sink to your back knee. Inhale, star, lift up. Exhale, horse sink down. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up, one breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, flow, high to low, make your way. We catch up in down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg crescent. Exhale, cactus down. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two, turn it out. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended, one breath down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow to your back knee. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, one breath up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, flow, high to low, make your way. I know all of you are doing amazing. We got it one more time each side. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg crescent. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. I skipped rainbow, but it's all right. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, one breath swoops you up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Make your way. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg crescent, rise up. Exhale, cactus, take it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow to the back knee. Inhale, star. Exhale, uh, horse. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Make your way to down dog, y'all. All right, take a deep breath in, sigh it out. Do that again, deep inhale, y'all. Let it go. All right, we're getting ready for our infinity flow. So we'll move through the first round on both sides a little bit slower, then we'll really get to hopping and popping. Inhale, look forward, exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, chair, plane. Reach your arms back behind you as you sink low. Float your toes up, squeeze your triceps back. Now pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Bring your right knee high. Flex through your right heel. Bring your knee in line with your hip. Get long through the right side of your body. Take another inhale. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Sink down into your left knee as you cock your right knee out to the side. Now give me pulses down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three. Hinge forward. Kick your right leg back behind you. Get long all the way from the crown of your head through your heel. Slightly lift up through your heart. Take another. 
another inhale and exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, step back, lift up. Exhale, rainbow, sink to your back knee. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, sink down. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge, wiggle your arms. Inhale, standing switch, take your left leg high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, curtsy, step your right foot back. Now bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, bend your right knee, bring your right heel to your left glute. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend last time. Exhale, extend. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, bring your right knee high. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift. Exhale, extended side angle. One breath down, you've already been here. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist, take your right arm high. Press up through your backside, get buoyant in your hips, lengthen through your collarbone. One more breath in. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, chair plane. Swing your arms back and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Bring your left knee high. Again, bring your left knee in line with your hip. Flex through your heels. Get long through your torso. One more breath in. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Sink into your right knee as you cock your left knee out to the side. Now pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three, hinge forward. You have a few breaths here. Keep a micro bend in your right knee. Pull your belly up tight towards your spine. Can you lift your heel a little bit higher? Lift up through your heart a little bit higher. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift up. Exhale, rainbow, swoop to the back knee. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split, take your right leg high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, curtsy, step your left foot back. Bring your hands to heart center. On your inhale, bend into your left knee, bring your right, or bring your left heel to your right glute. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, last time. Exhale, extend. Inhale, Ekapada. Feel that right glute kick on. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift. Exhale, extended side angle, one breath down. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior two at the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist, couple breaths here. Be light in your right hand that's on the ground. Lift up through your hips and your back thigh. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, fold. All right, here we go, let's do it. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, Ekapada. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Inhale, Eka. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow, swoop to the back knee. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two at the back. Inhale, reverse. 
Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, stop, uh, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, swoop up. Exhale, curtsy, right foot back. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift up. Exhale, extended side angle, one breath takes you down. Inhale, star, come on up. Exhale, warrior two to the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, come on up. Exhale, <laughs> chair plane. <laughs> Inhale, ekapada, bring your left knee high. Exhale, dancing Shiva sinks down. Inhale, eka. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift up. Exhale, rainbow, swoop to your back knee. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, warrior two at the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split, right leg up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, curtsy, left foot back. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. One breath takes you down. Inhale, star, come on up. Exhale, warrior two at the front. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, ekapada, right knee high. Exhale, dancing Shiva, sink. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow, sink to the back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two at the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, curtsy, right foot back. Inhale, eka. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star, rise up, y'all. Exhale, two at the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise up. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, ekapada, left knee up. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale, eka. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rainbow to the back knee. Inhale, star, you got this. Exhale, two at the back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, rise. Exhale, curtsy, left foot back. Inhale, ekapada. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, reverse, step back, lift. Exhale, rainbow to your front knee. Nope, that's wrong. Inhale, star. <laughs> Exhale, extended side angle to the back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two at the top. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, one breath up, you're there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow, high to low. Make your way to down dog, listen to your breath. You made it. We went through the mandala, infinity mandala, almost without me messing it up. <laughs> so lower down to your knees, y'all. Once you get through your vinyasa, grab some water if you need it, and we're gonna set up for core.
Y'all are doing awesome, <laughs> I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna keep the first um, core exercise uh, simple. Sig to Baddha Konasana crunches. So as you lie down to your back, bring the soles of your feet together, keep your knees wide, bring your hands to the back of your head, keep your elbows wide, pull your belly down, take a breath in, exhale, lift and crunch. Shh. Shh. Force the air out across your teeth. You know what to do. When you do this, it engages your deep abdominals. Shh. So make that sound. Shh. Shh. Keep your elbows wide. They want to round around your ears to help you out. Keep moving. I'm not doing all this section because I'm out of breath and I can't hardly talk. <laughs> but you guys keep going. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in, give them a squeeze, rock a little from side to side. Maybe turn your head gently to the left and right. Just relax your neck a little bit. Then extend your legs straight up. So cherry pickers, you're just going to reach for your left toes and your right with the opposite hand. So ch, 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 ch. Get your shoulder blades off of the mat. Good. Keep going. You got it. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in. Give them some love. Rock a little. Take a couple breaths. Then start to rock and roll along your spine. You're going to rock it right on up to your knees. I want you to come to stand on your knees. This is one of my least favorite things to do, so it's going to be good. <laughs> Take your knees about hip distance apart. Toes can stay untucked. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a big breath in and out. On your inhale, start to lean back as far as you can go and keep that nice straight line through your body. Exhale, rise back up. Inhale, lean back. Squeeze your glute from your thighs. Exhale, rise up. Move with your breath. This is not a super fast move. I want you to go slow and controlled as far back as you can maintain that line. If you start to round forward, then you need to not go as far. Keep moving. You got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down to your knees. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the next move that we're doing. It's kind of that low lasana prep that we've been doing in class before we shut down. <laughs> so it looks like this. I want you to stay on the tops of your feet if you're able to. If it's too much, then you can tuck your toes, but really try to stay on the top if you're able. So you're going to plant your hands right down just a few inches in front of your knees, and then you're going to lift up onto your knees, dome your upper back. Take a breath in, and then kick your right heel up, then kick your left heel up. Right heel, then left heel. Super important that you keep doming your back. Draw your knees into your chest as far as you can. Keep moving. You got this. Again, this is slow and controlled, not super fast. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, y'all. Grab some water if you need it, and then meet me back in down dog when you are ready. We're almost there. Once you're back in down dog, take a deep breath in, sigh it out, do that again, big inhale, let it rip, inhale your right leg high, exhale low lunge, step your foot to the top, inhale straight leg crescent, you've been here before, rise up, take a few breaths here, reconnect, refocus, find your strength from the ground up, 
from your heel over the ball of your back foot. Squeeze your hips in towards each other. Everything hugs to the midline of your body. Take a breath in. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, sink down, cactus your arms, lift up through your heart, lengthen through your spine instead of just dumping into your low back. Squeeze your glutes. On your inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, turn it out. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg, reach up and back. Lengthen through both sides of your body. Careful not to just dump into your left side. Firm both of your thighs up as you root through the heels of your feet. One more breath in. Exhale, regular triangle. Hinge forward, reach out, tick tock your arms down and up at about 6 and 12 o'clock. Your right hand can come to your shin or to a block if you have it. Every inhale, lengthen through your spine. Every exhale, rotate your rib cage open, back your shoulders. Maintain a micro bend in your front knee. So as you drive through the four corners of your feet, draw your quad up towards your hip. Take another breath in and out. Inhale, reverse, warrior, rise back up. Lift through your side. Exhale, rainbow, sink into your back knee. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, proserita, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge forward, pigeon toe your feet. And then once you are folded, you have options here, y'all. You can stay right in your fold. If you wanna find a little movement, then go for it. If you wanna twist, you can reach for opposite ankles or plant one hand in front of the other, take the other arm high. If you have an inversion practice and you wanna press up, then go for it. You have got several breaths here. If you are staying in your fold, make sure you're pressing into the blade edge of both feet as you draw your inner thighs up and in. Keep your legs active. Take a few more breaths. And if you are inverted slowly, start to make your way down. Then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your mat. Crawl yourself around. Inhale, easy twist. Take your right arm high. So some of you have done this before. It's called a step through. I want you to look forward. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, you're going to swing your left leg through and come to sit on your bottom just like so. And if you don't have the step through, just make your way here however you need to. Once you're there, your left leg is long, your right foot is planted. Inhale your left arm high, exhale plant it back behind you. Inhale wild thing, swoop up, lift your hips, rotate your heart open as you come to the blade edge of your left foot and the toes of your right foot. Reach all the way from your fingers through your toes. Exhale, lower down. Then we're gonna set up for a reverse plank. So dig your heels into your mat. You want your knees to have a little bend in them. Bring your hands back behind you. Your fingers are pointing towards your toes. Leave a little bend in your elbows. On your inhale, lift your hips up high. Point through your toes, lift your hips up, up, up. Dig your heels into the ground. One more inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, take a rock, hug your knees in. Exhale, Malasana, just come to a yogi squat. So you have several breaths right here, y'all. If you want to take crow pose, then bring your hands down, bring your toes to touch, take your knees wide. Lift your hips, then bring the knees to the backs of your arms. Take your gaze forward. Keep your hands active, lean, 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 until you feel like you're going to fall. Maybe you take baby crow. Again, you've got a few breaths. Any inversion that you want to take here. So hang with it for about five more breaths. And if you have the jump back to Chaturanga from crow, then go ahead and take it. Everybody start to make their way there however you need to. So plant your hands, move through a vinyasa if it calls. If it's not, catch up and down dog. 
Once you're there, take a deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it up. Inhale, straight leg crescent. Rise up. Straighten both legs as you go. Reach up through your fingertips. Again, get long through your spine. Ground down through your feet. Where are you energetically? Where is your breath? Take another inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms. Sink down, lift up through your heart. Slightly squeeze your glutes. On your inhale, straighten it up. Exhale, warrior two, turn it out. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten both your legs as you reach up and back, lengthen through the side of your body. Actively squeeze both your thighs, externally rotate them. One more breath in. Exhale, triangle. Start to shift forward, reach out, tick tock your arms down and up at about 6 and 12 o'clock. Several breaths here, root into the blade edge of your back foot. Fire up your front, front quad. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, rotate open. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, rise up. Tip your torso back. Exhale, rainbow, swoop to your back knee. Inhale, star, rise up. Exhale, prosperita, sink it down. Wide leg forward fold. Again, you have options here. So do what calls out. Maybe stay in the fold. Maybe find some movement. Maybe invert. For twists, your practice gets to be whatever you want it to be. Notice where your breath is, reconnect, refocus. Your breath is the single most important resource for creating and sustaining your energy. So where is it at? Couple more inhales. If you're inverted, slowly start to make your way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge at the top. Inhale, easy twist, take your left arm high. Now again, look forward, take a big breath in. Exhale, step through, swing your right leg all the way through, come to sit down on your bottom. All right, if you're there, your right leg is long, your left foot is planted. Inhale, your right arm high, exhale, plant it back behind you. Inhale, wild thing, swoop up, lift your hips, rotate your heart open. Take a big breath in, exhale, lower down. All right, reverse plank one more time. So plant your heels down, keep a little bend in your knees. Bring your hands back behind you. Fingertips point towards your toes. Little bend in your elbows. On your inhale, reverse plank. Lift up your hips, point through your toes, dig your heels into the ground. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, take a rock. Exhale, malasana. Find that yogi squat one more time. Again, I'm giving you guys several rounds of breaths here to play around. So whatever calls, any inversion, any arm balance is calling out. If you want to stay right where you are in malasana, just return to the focus of your breath and do that. Listen to your body. Have a few more breaths here. And if you found yourself in crow and you had that jump back all the way to Chaturanga, then shoot it on back. We all meet in down dog. Everybody take a deep breath in. Side out. One more inhale. And exhale. And lower down to your knees. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you a variation of camel called floating camel. So <clears throat> if you've never done this before, as always, it's going to feel weird in your body until you uh, play with it enough to start to figure out what needs to kick on and where. So how it goes is you have the tops of your feet down. You 
bring your palms and put them on the top or put them on the back of your feet. So your fingers are pointing towards the front of your mat. You lean back and then the first thing you do is you press up. So you're on your shins right here. Your arms are straight. Now what I'm going to do is start to tilt my weight back as I lift up, up, up. So your thighs, your glutes, and your core, the, and your back is super engaged here. So it's a lot of activity. So again, it will look like this. And if I fall out of it, don't be discouraged. So lift up onto your shins. And then start to really press into the tops of your feet. Lift your shins up, 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 up off the ground. Lift up through your heart. Squeeze your glutes. Lift as high as you can. Then exhale, lower back down. <laughs> so give it a couple tries. If you fall backwards, that's totally normal. Again, it takes time to start to play around with those things before you start to get the hang of it. Whew. It's hard to talk and teach, y'all. It's hard to talk and teach. <laughs> Once you are good, meet me on your back. We're bringing it down. So once you're there, we will set up for figure four. Plant both feet about hip distance apart. Take your right ankle, cross it over the top of your left knee. Press your right knee away actively. You can stay here or thread your arms through um, and grab the back of your left thigh or the front of your left shin. Make sure you are actively flexing your right foot and again pressing your right knee away. And I always like to just gently rock a little bit back and forth and you will, should feel some sensation there. Maybe there is a little place that feels a little sticky that you want to hang out in and go for it. You're here for a few more breaths. Switch it out, plant your right foot down, lift your left leg, cross your left knee or left ankle over the top of your right knee. Again, flex through your left heel, actively press your left knee away from you. You can thread your hands through, reach for the back of your thigh or the front of your shin, and again, maybe find that little rocking sensation back and forth. Take a few breaths here. Big inhales. Deep exhales. Then plant both feet down. We're going to move to bridge or wheel. Um, only one round from me today. If two is calling out, you can do what you want because we're at home. Um, so either way, plant your feet about hip distance apart and walk your heels in towards your bottom. You might be able to touch them with your fingertips. If you can't, that's okay. Root down into both four corners of, uh, the four corners of your feet. If you're setting up for wheel, plant your hands by your ears. On your inhale, bridge or wheel, lift up to your variation. If you're in bridge, you have the option to rock your shoulders underneath and take a bind. Use it as leverage to draw yourself up a little higher. So draw your sternum up towards the back wall behind you. Lightly squeeze your glutes, engage your thighs, your quads. Take a couple more breaths. Then on your exhale, slowly with control, start to lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Once you're there, Supta Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet together, take your knees wide. You can bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Several rounds of breath here. Notice where you are energetically right now. How your body feels different than when we began this practice. Notice the sounds that you hear. Notice the feel of the air upon your skin. Notice 
the how the ground underneath you feels. You're fully supported. Now take a deep breath in. Side out. Inhale your knees into your chest. Happy baby, reach for the blade edges of your feet. Draw your knees down towards your armpits. Press your low back down into the mat. You can stay like this. Maybe rock a little from side to side. Maybe straighten one leg. Then the other leg or both legs. Babies know what to do. And inhale your knees back to center. Extend your left leg long. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Take a big breath in, big squeeze. Exhale, supine twist. Draw your right knee over to the left. You can take whatever leg variation calls out. Take your gaze to the right if that feels okay on your neck or keep it gazing straight up. Take a few breaths here. You are almost to Shavasana. Switch out your legs, extend your right leg long, hug your left knee in, hug it in tight, big squeeze, big inhale, exhale, supine twist to the other side, draw your left knee over, take your gaze to the left if that feels okay, take a few breaths. Inhale, come back to center. Hug your knees in one more time. Anything that's left that you need to round out your practice that's calling out, please take the time to go there. If you are ready for Shavasana, extend your legs long. Bring your palms out by your side. Release your breath control. Let everything go. And take rest. I'll give you guys a few minutes here and then I will bring you out. Of course, you will be welcome to stay as long as you need. Close your eyes. Let everything fall away.
begin to bring awareness back to your breath and then back to your body. Invite gentle movement into your fingers and toes and ankles and wrists. Gradually growing those movements until maybe you are guided to a full body stretch. And when you are ready, start to hug your knees in and make your way onto the side that calls to you in the fetal position. Just taking one more moment for yourself. using the strength of your top hand, start to press yourself up to a seat, just letting your eyes close along the way. As you sit up tall, inhale your hands to heart center for Anjali Mudra, press your thumbs into your chest, feel your breath rise and fall, and feel your heartbeat. Take a moment to thank yourself, really, really thank yourself, y'all, for getting on your mat, for taking the time to connect, for taking the time to meet yourself. Loka, Samasta, Suki no Bhavantu, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the words, thoughts, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and freedom for all. As always, my honor to be able to practice with you guys, even though I can't see you guys. And um, I wish you guys a beautiful week. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. Um, Stay happy, stay healthy, don't touch your face, <laughs> and um, hopefully I can, um, I'll do another one of these soon. So again, thank you for practicing. Take care. Bye.